Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying this limited edition Betty Crocker mug treats. This is the pumpkin spice cake mix with cream cheese icing. It was $2.99 at Target. There are four individual servings in the box. Uh, one pouch plus the icing is 340 calories, it says. So, you open it up. Show you what you get when you open the box. So you get four of these pouches and then you get four of the toppings. So the topping, you don't microwave it. You're going to set it aside. There are instructions on the pouch so you could take it to work with you and it's labeled on the front. So if you don't want to keep the box for some reason up in your cabinet, then you can throw the box away if you're short on space. So what you want to do is you pour the contents in the cup. And you're going to add three tablespoons of water or milk. This one um, says that you can use milk. I always uh, use water whenever possible. And so you want to stir it until it is well blended. That's about 30 seconds. And see how it, it has like just little pieces in it. So you put it in the microwave for, let's see how long it takes. Uh, microwave uncovered on high is directed below or until surface is mostly dry. Uh, so what are we going to do ours for, Kevin? Just in the middle. In the middle. So one minute, five seconds to one minute, 15 seconds. And we'll be back. So how long did you leave it? 105. 105s. This is how it looks. And it doesn't say anything about waiting for it to um, cool off before you put the topping on. So I just use scissors to cut the topping off and I'm gonna put it over the top. And this is a cream cheese icing. So I'm gonna let this sit. It says to let it sit for two minutes to continue cooking and then we'll be back to try it. So you think when it comes out of the microwave that uh, that uh, cream cheese icing is going to melt everywhere, but it really didn't move from right where I put it. It might soften up a little bit on the bottom underneath. Right. So it looks really good. I didn't really smell this like a typical mud cake. No, it had more of a, like a pumpkin flavor than anything. Pumpkin smell. Mm, pumpkin smell. I'd like to try the cake by itself. Mm, it's good. I'm going to say something weird. You like it better without the frosting? I like the cake, but I don't like that frosting. Really? No, I like the frosting. It's super sweet. I mm -hmm. Let me try it by itself. It seemed really sweet to me. No, I don't like it at oh, all. Really? There's something in it I don't like. Huh. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't get anything weird out of it. Yeah, yeah there's so it's better. It, there, and that's so funny for me to say that because you're always like, ah, better, better, better. I don't get that. Yeah, I did not like the. And and normally I love, like on pumpkin cake, carrot cake, things like that. I love cream juice frosting. So don't think, oh, Tammy doesn't like that. I do. Normally, I would really, really enjoy that. Well, that's not really a cream cheese. It, it, there frosting. is there. There's just a funkiness to that frosting that I do not like. But so you I would love just the cake. you would just make the the cake without the frosting. Yes. Um, I love the cake. I think the frosting is more like a you know like a sugar glaze like you use with uh, powdered sugar and water. Yeah. And make just a glaze out of it. That's what it kind of tastes like to me. See, I doubt. Cheese. There's something in there that's made it But they've good. added some flavor and probably that you just don't like. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh. To me, I don't get that. I think it's good. It just adds a sweetness to it. But I, I love the little cinnamon pieces in there. When we were first looking at it, Tammy thought they were nuts. Yeah. But they're they not. They're, yeah. they're little bunches of like uh, spice and cinnamon mm -hmm. and stuff. I tell you what though. The cake's really good. A, a lot of these mud cakes, I would say it needs icing or they lack flavor or mm -hmm. they're, they're, they just need some sweetness. This pumpkin spice cake, I would eat this all by itself. Truly. Yeah, you could. Definitely. I think it is delicious. This, 
is probably, uh, as far as flavors go, um, this is probably one of my favorites. Yes, I agree. Um, you know, really, besides really like if you buy like the Ghirardelli mug cakes, that they have you know the classic chocolate, right. and um, but as far as being like a different flavor, like lemon or birthday or vanilla or whatever, this would be my favorite flavor. This is really, really, it is really good. good. And if you wanted to, you could always try just a bite of the frosting. Don't put the frosting on a lot. Just try a little bit of it first and before you put it all before you commit to putting the whole thing on there mm -hmm. yeah i would because i just i and and i love i love icing i love i love it i want sweetness and all that but i'm telling you there was just something about that that i did not care for but the cake itself is moist mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and full it's of um it's a fluffy cake and yes it has a nice pumpkin spice flavor mm -hmm. so you're getting the the ginger and the cinnamon and the nutmeg, but it's not really heavy. It's not like it doesn't make your tongue tingle or burn or anything like that. It's just the perfect pumpkin spice uh, flavor. Uh, so I hope this helps you out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.